What's up everybody, it's Eva with Trout Fly Fishing back with the forecast, this time for September 15th. A little bit of a delay and I apologize for that. We didn't want to do another one of those cell phone videos. I hate cell phone videos, those are the worst. So, without further ado, let's talk about bugs, flows, and weather. Obviously we've had some change, we had some wild weather last week, uh, and how has that impacted fishing? What are we looking forward to in the next two weeks? Let's talk about it. Uh, let's start with bugs. Let's start with bugs. <clears throat> so number one, uh, we're getting into September, so it is time for blue wings. Blue wings are gonna start to make more of an appearance on all of our favorite fisheries. Uh, that's first thing to start with. Number two, streamers. Streamers are uh, always a good option in my book, uh, but especially when we get into fall, weather, w the uh, ambient temps start to drop and then the water temps start to drop. Fish will get a little bit more uh, keened in on some of those big uh, big meals. So trying to pack on the calories before a uh, tough winter, streamers are a good option. Uh, number three, yes, it, ha it did get cold. Yes, it might have frozen in, uh, might have, uh, the ground might have frozen in some spots uh, last week when we had that wild weather move through. However, hoppers are still going to be an option because you're still expecting them, but you're also, it's a little bit warmer around the river, so you don't necessarily get as many hard freezes and so you're going to still see some hoppers around uh, so for the most part blueing olives hopper droppers streamers and then uh, there's actually been a bump in flows after a drop in flows on the south flat section uh, so some big attractors will, will do the trick so i picked out a couple bugs in my little box just picked five try to keep it simple start if you're doing hopper dropper stuff pmx Hard to beat the PMX. And then with uh, droppers, you, know, you can always throw small uh, RS2s or uh, big heavy Rainbow Warriors. <clears throat> Those are a good option. RS2 is also a good option uh, if you're nymphing along the South Flat. Um, another good attractor, stand by the pink San Juan Worm. And then if you're getting into some blue wing olive hatches, which uh, I was, uh, happy to get into last week when I was up on the South Platte, uh, Morsh's May Day uh, BWO. So this is in a size 18, good dry fly. Uh, it's got a different profile than you'll see with a lot of the more parachute styles and uh, you know, has a, a little bit that hackles wrapped in an interesting way and it sort of splays out and it's got a good, good profile to it. Uh, if you're into throwing streamers, it's hard to beat the Sparkle Minnow. Flashy, heavy, gets down, uh, not a terribly big streamer, but uh, moves a lot of water and has a lot of flash, which I'm a big fan of flash throughout the year, but especially uh, this time of year uh, when browns are getting a little bit more excited, rainbows are getting a little bit more excited. So that's bugs. Let's talk about flows. Let's talk about flows for a little bit. Uh, obviously with the snow we had last week, uh, that's a, pot, a welcome thing. So you're adding snow into the mountains, uh, cooled, stuff down a little bit but you're also that snow with the hotter weather that we've experienced over the past couple days and then into uh, the next week or so uh, you're going to melt that snow and that snow is going to go into the rivers so you're going to get a nice infusion of cold water uh, into the river uh, you know into some of our favorite fisheries which is a good thing um, you know sometimes you'll it'll come with a little bit extra sediment uh, just have to be aware of that but uh, cold weather being added to a low water uh, year is always uh, something that we we're, we welcome around here. So uh, we have seen some changes in flows, some stuff to be aware of. Uh, Eagle Avon's around 81. We did see a bump from uh, where it had been sitting around uh, for the past month or so. So that's a positive. It's been fishing really well. Uh, the Colorado Kremlin 723, so that dropped quite a bit. And that dropped because some of the tributaries upstream uh, that go into the Colorado uh, actually are, are managed uh, waterways. So they have drop flows. And so you're seeing uh, lower flows along the Colorado. Uh, Arkansas, it's Lida, lower as well, uh, but not, ter you know, not terribly low, not the lowest we've ever seen, but still a little bit low. Uh, and then Roaring Fork is, has bumped a little bit, 688. Uh, so that's the Freestones. The tailwaters, a completely different story. Uh, so 11 mile and the dream stream still holding around, you know, in the sixties and seventies in that range. Deckers dropped last week to like 220, 
250, something like that. And now it's bumping again to 510. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but obviously it does change the tactics a little bit. Uh, so bump, moving away from some of the smaller bugs and focusing on some of the big attractors uh, will get the job done. Uh, so keep that in mind. You know, always pay attention to the flows. We actually have updated our stream flow section on our website. We rec uh, recommend you check that out. Real-time data is linked to our website. So you, you have a archive or uh, a library of flows that you can check out that you can see uh, a graph showing the last seven days. Super cool. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, this week. So uh, really excited about that. Uh, that was flows. Let's talk about weather and wrap this thing up. Talk about weather. So, uh, looked at the next two weeks, Vail and Deckers as we normally do, uh, actually seeing sort of a consistent weather pattern through the remainder of this week, and it's gonna cool down a little bit next week, uh, both on the Front Range and up in Vail. Not a ton, but a cool down nonetheless. That means overnight lows are gonna be in the low 40s, uh, and the, you know, highs during the day are gonna be in the 60s. Uh, so a nice change from uh, some of the mid 70s, lower 80s that we're gonna see here on the front range and then also uh, sort of those mid 70s up uh, in Vail. Not, no crazy wind storms, no crazy uh, snowstorms moving through, no huge rainstorms moving through. Uh, but if you do see clouds, obviously that's uh, something to key in on with uh, dry flies. You know, 11 miles been fishing well with dry flies. Deckers was fishing well the other night with dry flies. Obviously, that was before the flow bump. But we should see that uh, continue. You just sort of look for those side channels, look for those back eddies, uh, places where fish can stack up, and you'll get into some uh, risers, which is always, always a welcome thing in my book. So uh, that's the weather. Wrapping it up. Still have, it's you know beginning of fall, so you still have some hopper dropper fishing to do. Streamer fishing is good. Bluing olives. Uh, subsurface and above uh, the surface on top. Um, and then, you know, your st typical attractors for the most part on the tailwaters and the same with the freestones, you know, always can depend on the past rubber legs, you know, uh, ma mares, mini leech, uh, worms. Um, and when you're on the South Platte, like deckers, crane flies at these flows are always a good option as well. Uh, so without further ado, I wanted to also call your attention to uh, a sweepstakes we have going on. So if you haven't seen it, uh, we're giving out, giving away over $4,000 worth of gear. Uh, all you have to do is uh, click, there's a link below in the description that we'll put. Click that link, sign up uh, for the, uh, the contest. We'll be drawing it on Friday. Uh, so this Friday, uh, there's a rod from G. Loomis, a NRX LP. There's a San, uh, Ross Reel San Miguel 3.4, uh, G4 st stocking foot, G4 Pro stocking boat waders from Sims, the Headwaters Boas uh, from Sims, the, the wading boots from Sims, and then also uh, two days of fishing for two people up in our Frisco shop and one night of uh, lodging up, up in Frisco as well. So over $4,000 worth of prizes. Oh yeah, a premium fly line as well. So make sure to click the link below. Maybe I'll, we'll do a, no we can't do swipe up, it's YouTube. Whatever. Link below, check it out, sign up, enter, Maybe when, Friday, we're drawing it. Anyways, from the banks of the Denver South Platte, we uh, hope you stop by the shop. We'll see you on the water, all that good stuff. Okay, bye.